Hey guys, it's Ink Eater, and welcome to VAM, Vinyl and Music News, where we talk about vinyl, music, and sometimes music news. I'm seeing things that aren't real. I'm seeing things I shouldn't see. I'm dreaming things I've never seen. You're beginning to think in images, concrete images. Hot, cold, light, dark, food, hunger, pain. And tonight I thought we would throw a curveball in, in terms of music. Uh... You know those albums that you love but absolutely hate the band? I don't know if that's anybody else. Um, recently, um, I was sitting there and I was talking about, um, I think it was, um, I don't want to focus on him because he's another video for a different day, but Moby. Um, I, I kind of have slowly grown to not like him as an artist. Granted, I love his music and I love his albums. Um, recently, his new one which is the whole story for a different day. Um, but then I started to think, wait a second, I know of an album. I know of an album that is absolutely deceiving and kind of messed up, especially if you're just a kid that just remembers it's bad out of hell and you're not sure which one it is. Um, so, Meatloaf. I love him, but I hate him. Um, because you got bad out of hell and then you got bad out of hell too. One of which has a really like gut-wrenching song. I think it's called Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. Um, let's see. No, this is the this is the Bad Out of Hell too. Sorry, excuse me. This is Bad Out of Hell. Um, it's Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. If you're trying to dump a girl, play that one. Um, I, that's what I recall from this album. I accidentally bought this one thinking it would have the I would do anything for love song, but it, it didn't. It was this one and. Hmm. Let's just say I was a little disappointed. <laughs> um, and bummed out. Uh, anyway, has some really freaking cool artwork. Um, show you that right there. Um, but yeah, I have this hate-love relationship with Meatloaf. Just because it's like, you create such really good music, but you just create such really confusing as hell album titles. Or rather, I was just confused as a kid and I never knew that there was two. And then this one should have been 94. 93, close. Um, this I remember coming out, but I didn't know about this one. So I was like, oh, it's bad out of hell. I don't know what else. I didn't know there was a two and there was a one. Anyway, rant. Um, but then there's also uh, Rage Against the Machines, Zachary um, de la Roca. I love Rage Against the Machines. I love their albums, but I totally hate the lead singer. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of really bummed out that we don't have any more political groups out there such as um, Rage Against the Machines. <laughs> um, but uh, there has been a resurgence like with Prophets of Rage. I think um, Ink Drop talked about them sometime last year, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's kind of like lackluster and lacking. Um, I don't know. That could just be me. But it got me thinking about those albums that I absolutely love but absolutely hate the artist. And it kind of got me thinking, what are some artists that you absolutely hate, but you love that one album, and you kind of ignore the fact that they exist? Um, I can't be the only one. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys are doing awesome. And yeah, bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. Not always what the same in this life. Sam, you can't take anything for granted.